let's go ahead and do some more factoring with these uh, with these algebra tiles. And rem one thing that might help a little bit if you're thinking about how to how to lay these out. If I have this x squared minus six x minus eight, I know I'm going to end up with a rectangle, probably a better looking rectangle than that. So I know I'm going to end up with a rectangle, and it's basically going to have four parts to it. And up in this upper left hand corner, put the x squareds there, and down in here, put the ones. Put the ones down in the kitty corner from there. And then this section and this section, these left and right sections, these will be where the x's go. So just x's in here and just x's in here, you know, and that'll give us that that grid that way and that grid that way. Um, and one thing to think about is on a side, they're either all positive or all negative. Don't mix positive and negatives in a side. All right. So with keeping those in mind, then let's try and build this one. X squared minus 6x minus 8. Uh, actually, I want this to, I'm going to change this. X squared minus 2x minus 8. So let's bring in an x squared, and it was uh, minus 2x. So I'll bring in a couple of uh, negatives, and then it was 8, negative 1. So I'll bring them in, and then I'll turn them negative. I know that they're supposed to be negative. 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 5, 6, 7, 8. And if I click on them, that'll turn them negative. All right. So if I think about these eight negatives, since this part down in here has to be a rectangle, I only have a couple of possibilities. In other words, like in order to make a rectangle that has an eight, it has to be two by four or it has to be one by eight. And I don't really have any other any other options for, for what it can be. So that being said, let me try a two by four arrangement. So there's two. And this is this is two by four. So now, now I need to think about where to place these. And if you notice, one, two, three, four, five, six. I actually have six spots for x's in here instead of just just. I only have two negatives. So that means I'm going to have to bring in some pairs. So if I bring in this, a positive x and a negative x, notice that that's still zero. I still have a total of negative two x's here. This is just negative x plus x. So one, two. Three, four, five, six. I have six spots here to fill. One, two, three, four. So if I bring in another pair, another zero pair, five, six. Now I have one, two, three, four. Now I have all six of these. So let me try and arrange it this way. Oh, it looks like I have two positives and four negatives. So maybe my two positives could go here. And remember, double click to rotate on my four negatives could go here. Nice. Yeah, that's it. And um, remember what we can do then is we can uh, take a sketch of it. We can crop it pretty easily so you can, you know, insert it into your um, assignment. And then let's mark this. So this side right here, this side that's right here, this is x and this is too long. So this would be x plus 2. And this side that's right here, this is an x, one, two, three, four, and that's a negative four. So this would be x minus four. So if I think about what that would be uh, factored in my kind of factored form, yeah, I would have one side is x plus two, and one side is x minus four. All right, let's, let's do another one. So I'm going to bring up my next problem, and it's going to be x squared minus nine x minus 10. So let's see. One, two, three, four. I have four negatives. So I need uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And uh, there were 10 negative ones. So I already have eight, so I'll need two more. Okay, and as I go to build this one, same sort of thinking as before. Let me think about some pieces here. This, these 10 negative ones have to get arranged into a rectangle. So it could either be 5 by 2 or it could be 1 by 10. Those are my two possibilities. Uh, right, because 5 times 2 is 10. 1 times 10 is 10. So if I, if I were to arrange it into a 5 by 2...
Uh, notice that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I only have seven X spots, right? Because those will go here and then these up here. But I already have, I have nine negative X's. So it's not going to be this arrangement. So gosh, let me maybe put it into a one by 10. That would give me 10, 11 spots. But I have nine of these, nine. So if I add a zero, 10, 11. Now I have um, 11 of these. Great, and that actually works because, uh, so if I have these 10 of these negative X's, they, remember I wanna put all my negatives together and all my positives together. The trick here is bringing in that zero, right? Like figuring out um, how many things to bring in. And I'm trying to show you a, a method that, that's pretty good at this that I think would be pretty helpful for this. There we go. And notice that I have, since this X cancels out that negative X, I still only have negative nine X's. So if I were going to um, write my write my relationship for that one, this side is X plus one, right? Because this is X long and this is one long. And this side is X minus 10. So it would be X plus one times x minus 10. All right, I want to do just a couple more a couple more examples. Let's do um, yeah, let's do two more examples. How about if I had an x squared uh, plus 3x minus 10? All right, so I've got my uh, minus 10 already. But I only need three x's that are positive to start with. So um, again, thinking about that 10, it could be a 1 by 10 or it could be a 2 by 5. And now the 1 by 10, I only have, I have three positive x's. I'm not going to get that in there. So let me try the 2 by 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I wonder if this will work. Oh yeah. Huh. So I have three X's, but I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have seven X locations. So that means I would need seven X's total. So if here's three, bring in a zero, four, five, six, Seven. Oh, that works. Yeah, notice that I have the two negative x's and they fit right in here. And then I have the five positive x's, they fit right in here. Sweet. So when I go to write then my factored form of that, talk about the, uh, the sides of it. Notice this is x minus two. This is x, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, plus 5. So this would factor to x plus 5 times x minus 2. All right, I want to do one more example. And this example is going to be x squared. I want 0 x's. And then uh, minus 9. So plus 0 x and then minus, and then minus 9. So I have zero X's to start with. So let me get all my X's out of here. Um, and I have nine ones, uh, nine negative ones, so like that. So let me think about my possibilities for my array. It could be a one by nine, or it could be a three by three. I think one by one is not going to be it. So how about we uh, think about a three by three. Okay, I'm setting it up so X is in the right corner. And I have zero X's. But notice I have one, two, three, four, five, six X spots. So let me start bringing in zeros to try and fill in those X spots. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice, three and three, that, that works really well. So I have like the three positives could go here and the three negatives could go here. And that works well because a positive times a negative is a negative. Great, so as I do my, um, 
try to think about what those mean side lengths on this one. Notice that this side is an x minus 3 and this side is an x plus 3. So that would factor to x plus 3 times x minus 3. All right, uh, give these problems a try. Really, really focus on when you're doing it, putting the x squareds up here, putting the ones here, and putting positive or negative x's here, and positive or negative x's here. And by positive or negative, I mean they have to be the same, right? So everything that's in this region are all positive or all negative. Same thing here, everything that's in this region is all positive or all negative. Hey, message me if you have questions. Send me an email. I'm happy to make more videos for you guys. Hope you're doing good. Talk to you later.